of being in a relationship in a marriage, when you involve other people into your relationship for advice, for counsel, for whatever it may be, when you involve them too much, it becomes a problem. I know. I'm, I'm, yes. Trust me when I tell you this. I agree with everything that Amanda just said, depending on the situation, depending on who you are in a relationship with. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another moving mad video as we cover Razvan and Amanda. Now, here's the thing. For me, myself in particular, I do not like to involve other people in my situation if I'm in a relationship. The way I see it, if we have a good relationship, we have good communication, we should be able to communicate our issues all the time without outside interference. The only time people seek outside interference is if those people are toxic, those people are in an unhealthy relationship, those people have a lack of trust for the person those people are just unsure whether or not that person is ever going to actually want to hear them out because that person may just be a mean mean person so point being is this if you are in a position in a relationship where you cannot communicate with your partner because you are afraid for whatever reason that is an indication that your communication is not healthy it is not necessarily an indication that you should not be together but it is definitely an indication to say hey Maybe we need to work on this. Otherwise, if we don't, we're going to keep allowing outside interferences. And sometimes outside interferences can't always necessarily be genuine. Sometimes outside people have ill intent to try and break you and the other person up. Or sometimes outside interference can also encourage you to stay with someone who you should not be with. And trust me when I tell you that is a whole other deep conversation. But with that being said... The reason why Amanda's upset right now is because Razvan had a, had a conversation with his mother and he told his mother about the ups and downs him and Amanda have been having, about how one minute she's all okay and the next minute she's just completely negative. So of course he's gone there to get some advice and I, and I understand why, because he doesn't want to make the same mistake, respectfully. But like I said before, if he's in a position where he has to go to his own mother, it tells him straight away that communicating with Amanda just isn't as easy as one, two, three. And do I blame him for this? Absolutely not. Which is why, instead of communicating with his mother, he should go directly to man and say, hey, I wanna to talk to you about some things, but sometimes I feel like I cannot because the way, the way you react makes me feel uneasy. And if she responds in a way that doesn't help the situation, if you ask me, that is a red flag, that is an ick, and that is a reason to say, you know what, maybe we just have to go separate ways because at the end of the day, there is no point of going further if we're never going to be able to have a real good communication because you can't handle some of the things that I have to say that concern me. This is why I told her, because sometimes you just change. You just change your mood. It's not about me. You just change. And this right here was an example. Razvan explains and says, listen, you just change your moods. And instead of taking the conversation seriously or his concern seriously, what does she do? She completely shuts down the conversation and changes it. She's like, I don't want to argue. This is meant to be a good time. And to be honest with you, that is the moment that he should be like, wait, hold on a minute. No, 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 no. You asked me why, why I went to my mother. This is why I'm trying to communicate with you and look at what the first thing you did. You literally diverted and said, oh, I don't want to talk about it. So who do you expect me to talk about? Who do you expect me to talk to then? In fact, this shows that we have issues that we have to work on if we have any chance of making things work further down the line. And let's not forget, someone who you cannot communicate with is usually someone that is always trying to manipulate and control the narrative. He's already been in this situation with someone that was controlling. He needs to be careful he doesn't get himself in the same position again. But trust me when I tell you, people that don't want to talk, there's a reason behind it and the reason is never necessarily a good thing. That Amanda is talking about being engaged. How can you want to be engaged with someone when we only have fights? Only because you want a commitment? I mean, the biggest commitment is I didn't give up until now. Like, damn. This episode has been my favorite episode of Razvan so far. But he has come out with gems. I mean, Amanda's sister says, hey, we should be getting engaged. Because I want to leave knowing that we are going to still be together so I have that reassurance. And Razvan's like, wait, hold on a minute. Nah, 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 nah. 70% of the time we are disagreeing. Why would I want to rush to get in, 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 engaged just because you want to have some form of proof of commitment? Listen, the fact that I haven't left you till now is a show, a, a show from my side of commitment. So in reality, to be honest with you, 
<laughs> Amanda's gonna lose her freaking freaking cojones. But I, but this is the thing though. Amanda likes to control the narrative at all times. So if you ask me, the only reason why she wants him to propose, she wants to leave an engagement, is therefore she knows that she has him in her pocket. It's as simple as one, two, three. Because at the end of the day, if the agenda was to go there and get engaged, because this is something that they have spoken about prior to her getting there, I understand that, but guess what though, when you got there, the time you've had has not been a good time. The time that you've had has been a very unsettling time. So much that Razvan even had to go to his own mother to ex ask for advice. So much that Razvan's friend even had to confront you. Your time has been so up and down, to be honest with you, I am not surprised that Razvan is a bit unsure whether or not he wants to continue with you. And I do agree with him. Him staying with you until now is definitely a, a sign of commitment. It may not be the sign that you want. It may not be the commitment that you want in terms of actually getting a ring that makes you feel even more secure. But at the end of the day, you are dealing with a man that has a very, very, very tender heart. And he does not want that heart to be messed about with anymore. This is a man, just like his mother said, does not want to make another mistake by being with another woman that is going to pretty much demoralize him in every single way possible. And that is exactly who you are at this moment in time, Amanda. But hey guys, let me know what you're thinking though. Let me know what you're thinking. It's always important to know what you're thinking in the comment section. So let's talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.